Gareth, we're just fresh from Palmer's College with David Cameron's rally. He said his first words were, we weren't going to concentrate on Park, but we are now. What does that mean, do you think? I think that's quite an interesting thing to say, actually. It seems that the Tory effort here has been a little bit low-key in recent weeks, certainly over the recent months since about Christmas or New Year. Um, so for them to suddenly concentrate on Thurrock is quite interesting. And I think it means that they possibly think that they can win here. As far as I'm concerned, there's still everything to play for, and it's a three-horse race. It's wide open. Um, you also used the term hung parliament. They kept talking about we mustn't have a hung parliament. That seems to be the key thing from his whole speech. Again, why do you think he's saying that? I think he's scaremongering the public. I think he's scaremongering the public into hopefully not voting for the Liberal Democrats because he's worried there will be a hung parliament and he won't have an overall majority. Actually, most of the public, people that people I know have spoken to in the city, aren't worried about a hung parliament at all. And actually, the impression is that it will be great for democracy to have a hung parliament. Hopefully, we'll see politicians talking to each other more. Hopefully, we'll have more cooperation between the parties. And I think that can only be a good thing. Back to yourself, um, last weekend here, but also in places like Chafford 100. What's the response there? Really good, actually. Um, I think the weather's helping people stop by and have a really good chat. The TV debates have widened out the audience. Lots of people watching, lots of people really excited. Lots of people really got the impression that things could indeed be different this time. So we're getting lots of positive feedback, lots of emails coming in, um, lots of letters, <laughs> and hopefully answering all of people's queries before it comes down to it on May the 6th. And, and speaking of us things, a lot of people... Um, I'm not saying it because you were to say that proudly felt that you at the one at the church up the road they felt you won. That's really nice for people to say. We did have a lot of positive comments afterwards and I actually really enjoyed it. Um, of course there was nerves, it was one of the first times I'd done anything like that, but it was really enjoyable and certainly to have questions which came from the audience, um, just to really cover a very wide range of views and answer people's concerns. And they were both local and national and I think that's really important that people get a good impression. And hopefully I told people a little bit about myself as well. And, and 12 days to go, what's the plans? The plans are we'll just be out every evening. I mean, polling week we'll be canvassing, knocking on doors. We'll be out leafleting, we'll be round and about. I've got some um, more interesting appointments coming up with people locally. I'm doing some casework and visiting people in their homes, answering people's queries. So we'll definitely be out and about. We'll be very contactable. If anyone wants to get in touch, they can just go to thoroughlibdems.org.uk and arrange to have a visit with me or give me a call. And we're just on hand here for any last minute queries up to May the 6th.